Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about anatomy of the sigmoid colon. The sigmoid colon is a part of the large intestine. It is about 35 to 40 centimeter long in an adult person. This is a mobile sinus loop. So it is called sigmoid colon. It is a content of the lesser pelvis or true pelvis. It begins at the pelvic inlet to the rectum, that is from pelvic brim to the third piece of the sacral body and is completely invested by the peritoneum. So this is an intraperitoneal structure. It initially descends near the left pelvic wall and has variable position. Its length and diameters are variable. It is mostly a structure of the left side of the true pelvis, but it may go extend to the right side. It may extend over the urinary bladder. It may extend over the upper part of the body of the uterus in female. It is attached to the posterior pelvic wall and to the lower posterior abdominal wall by the V-shaped sigmoid mesocolon. The sigmoid colon has tinea coli, appendices epiploiki, and hostration like other part of the large intestine. So the posterior relations, if you go there, we are seeing the left ureter, the left gonadal vessel, the left genitofemoral nerve, the left upper roots of the sacral plexus, the obturator nerve, left obturator nerve, left piriformis, left external iliac artery and vein. These are the posterior relations of the sigmoid colon. Blood supply, the sigmoid arteries, these are branches of the inferior mesenteric artery. Inferior mesenteric artery is the ventral branch of the abdominal aorta. There is the artery to supply the hind guard structure like the sigmoid column. Sigmoid veins, the tributaries of the inferior mesenteric vein. Inferior mesenteric vein opens into the splenic vein. Splenic vein unites with the superior mesenteric vein to form the portal vein. So its venous drainage is, is portal it is a part of the portal system nerve supply inferior mesenteric plexus two component the internal organs it is innervated by sympathetic and parasympathetic that is the autonomic nervous system supplies the sigmoid column sympathetic from the l1 l2 lumbar splanchnic nerve through the inferior mesenteric plexus parasympathetic from the pelvic splanchnic nerve S2, S3, S4 again through the inferior mesenteric plexus. Lymphatics through the sigmoid lymph node to the inferior mesenteric lymph node. Histological structure from inside outside mucosa lined by simple columnar epithelium with intestinal gland and goblet cell. These are unicellular mucus secreting glands, submucosa, inner circular muscle, and outer longitudinal muscle. In between the muscle will get myenteric plexus, in the submucous will get submucosal plexus, those nerves are derived from the neural crest cells. Okay. So outside we have serosa that is peritoneum lined by simple squamous epithelium like all other mesotheliums. Okay, blood supply again we discuss sigmoid arteries, branches of what? inferior mesenteric artery, sigmoid vein, tributaries of the inferior mesenteric vein. Lymphatic drainage through the sigmoid lymph node that opens into the inferior mesenteric lymph node. Okay. So lymphatic drainage is important because cancer spread from the colon, especially from sigmoid colon, goes through the sigmoid lymph node, ultimately reaching the inferior mesenteric node. 
Okay, sigmoid clinical anatomy, sigmoid volvulus is possible, twisting of sigmoid colon around the sigmoid major colon. This may happen, especially if there is a heavy mass in the sigmoid colon and very, very much, very long the sigmoid nasal colon and sigmoid colon. So, uh, attachment may be short, length may be very long. So, in that condition, we may have sigmoid volvulus, twisting of the sigmoid colon around the sigmoid major colon. That, may, that is an emergency to lead to intestinal obstruction. It needs surgery to repair that. Okay, diverticular disease, ballooning out of the wall of sigmoid colon, usually multiple, may be infected or ruptured. Okay, it happens between the tinea coli, usually anti-mesenteric part and the lateral, lateral anti-mesenteric and the lateral tinea coli in between will get diverticular ballooning out, but diverticular coli may develop congenitally along the mesenteric border but that is very rare usually it is a disease of the old person especially caucasian people who eat too much meat no vegetable or less vegetable those who have constipation is a part of the aging process will get diverticulosis okay sigmoid colon cancer is like other colon cancer characterized by altered bowel habit and passes of blood along the stool we call it hematochagia okay sigmoid scopy is a procedure to look inside the sigmoid the interior of the sigmoid colon is visualized to reveal ulcer growth and to take tissue for biopsy tissue from the sigmoid colon maybe from the rectum may be taken to diagnose any cancer or growth or any ulcer or any other pathology and that's all about the anatomy of the sigmoid colon. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me. Please share the information with your friends. Please support my channel. And have a nice, blessed and good afternoon. Bye now.